First of all, I love Sue. Oh, thank you. Me too. Cute, and I just want to hug her all the time. Oh, me too. That's such a weird thing for me to say. Me too, too. I just want to hug her all the time. Me too. Like, but but I do. I just want to like. I guess I want to cradle my. That's weird. That is such a weird instinct. I am like coming to right now. It's like a split personality. She's like. <laughs> I guess she is. <laughs> so, moving on. Sue is great. <laughs> yes. Congratulations for 100 episodes. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a really awesome, really awesome experience. So what can you tease about this 100 episodes? Um, there's going to be a lot. Someone rescues Sue. That's what I can tell you. You said we're going to spoil about the 100th episode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, yes, Sue gets saved. Period. That's the clue. It's really funny. It's really funny. I've seen the episode, and all I want to say is I think Brad and oh, Sue. You've seen it, so you know. Yeah. You know oh, for. Oh, you know. So isn't it? Isn't it funny? Wait, do they keep it in? Is that that's it in there, right? Okay, good, good, good. Well, my favorite parts get cut, and I'm like, all right. Well, my favorite part, and I think that should be like a whole episode, is Brad and Sue and the musical. I know, right? Okay, here's actually, the, I, I'm so happy I get to like tell this story now, because it's just someone who's seen it. Um, we, I guess I can tease that, because that's not that big a deal. Brad and Sue, it, at a certain point in the episode, sing uh, Grease together, they sing uh, Summer, Summer Lovin'. Brock, Chirlelli, the boy who plays Brad, and I, at the season one rap party, sung that at karaoke. And so when I read it in the script, I was like, oh my god, they remembered, they put it in, a callback, that's awesome. Like, secret little like Easter egg for people who know, you know? I talked to them, about, I talked to Eileen, and I talked to the writers about it, no idea. They were like, really? They just happened to also like know that that is something that Brock and I slash Brad and Sue would do. I was like, universe man like this is it was meant to be we made a really good choice singing the song like of course it's classic I think you should still get the like credit for this. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself the credit for this it's kind of the same way I was just saying like I wore braces to the audition I'm a genius but in fact I'm pretty sure it said I haven't had my own braces but like it said in the script suit with girl with braces so like they're the brilliant ones once again ah the creators the, the creators and writers of the of the like of the actual material take the credit how rude. how dare they how rude. oh god those monsters i have to ask about sue and darren because i love them so much and is there hope i mean can you tease any i wish i actually wish i could that's i haven't we haven't had i i haven't had an episode with darren yet i think it's it's not over but you're so adorable Thank you. The perfect couple. I know. We are. <laughs> but sometimes life just doesn't life doesn't pan out the way you expect it to. And <laughs> you just have to accept it. You just have to accept your current reality always. And that's what Sue's really good at. She just loves every second, even though. Even though. Just like period, even though. Like even though XYZ, even though blank, she still loves it. If you could talk to Sue, what would you tell her? Oh, that's a great question. Oh my God. Sorry, I just you can't see, I just grabbed her. I don't know. I have so much, so many things, Sandrine. Oh God, oh, I have anxiety about it now. I want to tell her everything. I want to like, oh, I'd cry to her. I think I'd cry to her. But she'd make you happy. She would make me happy. I know her, it's almost like being a fairy godmother though. Like I know so much about her, but if I really met her, like she wouldn't know anything about me. And I would just have to, as like a time traveler or something. You know when like older you, in like movies, like visits younger you? And you're like, what would I say to younger me? That's what I kind of feel like. I feel like, but this stranger that I've just like grown up with for five years, I mean stranger she to me, that I've like, grown, yeah, I've grown up with for five years. I think I would just tell her that I love her. I love her. I can't even say like it gets better because like it's already amazing for her. I would just say like, don't ever lose it. Like you're amazing. You're a fucking badass. I'm sorry. You're a, you're a, great. Bleep it out. And speaking of tra time travel, if you could go back at the beginning of your journey with the medal and talk to yourself, what would you tell yourself? Nothing. I wouldn't want anything to be ruined for me. And uh, what for you typifies a middle moment? Sharing a look. That expression. Share, capital S, 
capital A, capital L, to share a look. A middle moment is when two characters look at each other knowing something ridiculous has happened or something like, so like, hey, look, we're going to share a look right now. Look away real fast. So like, something crazy is happening. Charlie's being a ridiculous person. We just shared a look. <laughs> Finally, my final question for you. Is do you have a message for the fans as they get ready to watch this final episode, this hundredth episode? Thank you so much. I'm only ever making fun of you, Charlie. You know what else to say to the fans? Thank you. And this, no thank you to Charlie. That's it. But really, thank you so much. This is like, I can't believe, I can't believe it's been a hundred episodes. I can't believe it's been five years. It's crazy.